Hey guys, a little bit of a different video today. I've been kind of lounging around all day. It's a Saturday and I've done a few plant chores and some watching videos. I stopped and did a little stitching, but I've got to do some repotting. And I decided maybe what would motivate me to repot is to do a video and kind of chat with you guys while I do it. So just excuse my bumminess. This is like day three curled hair. So it'll be washed later after I'm done getting dirty and sweating. Um, I have several that need repotted. I have this guy, which is just grown insane. And I really, I had it kind of compacted under a grow light. It needs more space. I'm going to give it more space. I'm probably going to give it a pole. Uh, even if it's just like a bamboo stake kind of pole, a couple of those, and it, all I see are roots. And we're going to pull it out of here and we're going to give it at least a pot this big. It, it needs the room. So that's going in there. This guy, I mean, I bought this as like two or three leaves and this is, Okay, so the first one was a philodendron burl marks. I have seen ones get really big, not huge leaves, but much bigger than I have. So I'm hoping potting it up and like giving it a better environment will produce more of the larger leaves. It grows like a weed though. This one also grows like a weed. This is a philodendron Florida green. And it sits on the table next to my Ikea greenhouse cabinet, so it gets that um, that grow light whenever that's on. It I am going to put it in a much bigger pot because there's a pot inside the ceramic. I always like to pot in plastic so that I can just take this out and water it really well and let it drain and then put it back in a pretty pot. So that's going in there. This guy... It's just a green pothos. He has been in this little pot since I got him. And he just, he's kind of stopped growing as much. He just needs fresh dirt, more room. So he is going to go, do I want to size you up that big? I think I do. He's going to go in this. So you're going in there. And then I grew this from a little tiny starter plant. This is a phil philodendron bipentifolium aria. Like it was just a couple of tiny little leaves. So it needs more support. It needs a little bit more space. I'm not going to size it up much. It's going to go in here. Um, this little guy... This is a succulent that Jim got me when I really wanted one of these. This is a bear paw succulent. You can tell the little leaves look like little um, bear paws. I recently bought a variegated version of this. This was much smaller when I got it. What are you going in? Did we decide? I think I'm going to put you in one of these that the other plants come out of. So that's happening. You have to be very careful with these. It's not as uh, susceptible to breaking as like say a uh, burrow cactus or a uh, burrow tail, but these will come off. So I wanna be very careful and delicate with it. Not snap off the little paws. The other one, this one is just, I have neglected it. I took it out of the pot it was in this is just, this is a succulent and I've broken parts of it. I'm embarrassed. This is a succulent my nieces bought me for my 40th birthday and they get leggy, but it, it's going in this pot and I'm going to plant it down in there a little. So that's going in there. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. I mixed up some potting soil before you guys I started filming 
I don't just buy regular bagged soil and plant in that. I make it a little chunkier. So I'll show you kind of what I'm working with. I don't make it as chunky as some people because I'm kind of an underwaterer. So this is still a lot of soil, but it's not as much soil as just getting it right out of the bag. Like I've been using um, the black gold all purpose, like houseplant regular like soil mix. What I put in here is orchid bark, pumice. I have some actual like real pumice in here too, like orchid pumice that, because pumice tends to, my neighbor, pumice tends to, after you water for a while, it like makes its way to the top of the soil and it makes the soil less airy. I also have some horticultural charcoal in here. I don't know if it helps. I hear that it helps like prevent like um, molding and like fungus and stuff like that. So I don't know, I bought some and I chunk it in my mix now. So there's that. I have a whole bunch mixed up. I'm hoping this will get me through the whole summer of repotting. Cause there are probably some more that could use it. But these are the ones that are emergencies. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna move this out of the way. I'm sitting here on my rug, but I do have, so that I make less of a mess, a little, um, like a boot tray that I do some repotting in. We're gonna pull this guy out and we're gonna see what's happening in here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you needed that. It's a tiny little hole in that anyway. It wasn't getting a lot of drainage. I bought this pot on Amazon because I loved it so much. Okay, all right. Hmm. He is going in here. That will give him, you only want to repot up about two inch bigger unless it's super root bound. If it is super root bound, you may want to go bigger than that. This is going to give this guy a lot more room. Pretty excited about it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so Jim, I forget where he got these. He got a, like some little, like little stone frogs from some toy person and he gave them to me. So occasionally you'll just see a little stone frog in my plants. Okay, you, what do you need? What do I need? I cannot believe that was in that little bitty pot. This needed a long time ago. So we're gonna put just a little bit in the bottom of this pot, shake it around. We're gonna put this guy down in here. And then we're just going to Pull this over more so I'd make less of a mess and just backfill the sides. I started to get rid of my IKEA greenhouse cabinet, but good weather came and kind of reinvigorated my love for plants. And I was talking to Jim about it. He he was on board. He bought it for me, but he was like, if you no longer love it, like, I mean, just sell it. Put it on Facebook Marketplace. Well, I did. It didn't sell. So now I've decided that that was a blessing because I think I want to keep it. I just think I want to move it. Right now it's in my dining room. And part of the reason I don't love it in there is I feel like it takes up too much space I'm not a person who, go figure, I don't throw dinner parties, but I mean, I might like to have like my sister and my niece over or Jim's brother and wife over. Just kind of pop it on the ground, shimmy that soil down to where it needs to be. So I would like to have more room around my table to like 
get in and out, pull chairs out. I bought that really nice table and chairs and we haven't used it that much. So we should. Moral of the story, we should. So um, we brainstormed and without my filing cabinet in my office, because I moved it to my real office, like my work, work office, that frees up some space in my office upstairs. And I think I'm going to put my plant cabinet upstairs and like my room upstairs. And I think I'm going to enjoy that much more. I could sit on the futon and stitch or read or whatever and enjoy it. Oh, that looks much better. We'll see if I need a steak or not. That looks much better. Okay, well, there's one. So we're going to move that upstairs. And it's going to be great. There you go. Take a sip of water. It always stays a little bit hotter and more humid out here in my sunroom, which that's why my plants do so well out here. There are two HVAC vents out here, but I mean, they don't, they don't do a ton of good. They keep my plants from freezing in the winter and they keep it from being miserable out here in the summer. But other than that, I have a ceiling fan, which I'm not showing because it's the one that was here when we bought the house and it's this ugly white and gold monstrosity. I have a new one that's much prettier. We just haven't, we haven't installed it yet. Let's do this one next. We haven't installed it yet because we actually had a leak in this room that we just had fixed last week. We had some roofers out and um, I might need to do some ceiling repair before I, ooh, girl. Look at those roots. Yep. We call this guy Dennis because Jim has a friend named Dennis from high school that he's still friends with. And um, this plant always had this weird branch that went over to the side. And apparently, not funny, but at one point uh, in his life, Dennis had cancer. Dennis went through chemo. Um, Dennis lost it, like all of his hair and his eyebrows. But then like, what grew back quickly was one of Dennis's eyebrows and it like did this like crazy like off to the side like almost cartoon villain kind of thing. So teenage boys being teenage boys what did they do? They made fun of him so but it was all in good fun. But, so we've named this plant Dennis's eyebrow. He knows he laughs about it with us. He's like ho 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 y'all are so funny. So Dennis's plant, what in the world? Huh, interesting. Dennis's plant is getting some love. In fact, this dirt looks so bad. I'm breaking this one up a little bit more to really get some new nutrient rich soil in around these roots. So just, I'm just kind of teasing the dirt off the old dry, sad dirt with my fingers. And we're just going to give it new. We're just going to hold this in this pot, fill it back in, twist it, and fill it back in. This is so satisfying. Like these plants that have just really needed a makeover, getting the love that they need. Oh, look at you, Dennis. 
Oh, he already <laughs> looks happier. Okay, get some more dirt in there. Really get it in there. I don't add this. Uh, this dirt comes with a little bit of fertilizer in it. I don't add um, extra fertilizer in. I actually have some Osmo coat. Maybe I should do that for some of these. A lot of the times there is a product called uh, Schultz or Schultz. It's a liquid fertilizer and you could fertilize it with it like every time you water and it's so mild that it's not going to like burn your plant or your roots. I like to use it. I like to put some droppers full in my water when I water. I actually need to order some more of that from Amazon. And I have an Amazon storefront to be completely transparent that I'll link down below. And oh, that looks so much better. I'll link it down below. And I get a minute amount. Not enough to even really... I don't think I've gotten money from Amazon since 2023. And even then, I think it was like a $25 credit. But I mean... If you're gonna buy stuff anyway, click on my link. Hmm. Let's do a succulent. I took this one. You can tell it was in like a much smaller pot. I took it out of that pot and had intentions of like repotting it right away. I'm just loosening up roots. And I didn't. And it has sat just kind of loose like this in a pot next to my kitchen sink. And just been pitiful. And slowly trying to die a little. And I'm a terrible person. taking out some of the big like orchid bark chunks because they just take up so much space in a small pot. Just filling this in, taking out orchid bark. We don't need to be in there. But yeah, it's just sat up there next to the sink and like I've just, every time I do something at the sink, which is every day, I'm just like, I'm a bad plant parent. As I, as I look at it, I'm a bad, bad plant parent that really needs some love. Okay, we're going to pack some more dirt in here to really stabilize it. Just taking my fingers and just sprinkling it in. Packing it down with my fingertips. You better like this. I'm sorry I mistreated you. I have a friend at work. They bought plants for a grand opening last year. Like a few. They bought a couple of fiddle leaf figs, like the big trees. And I don't know how much you guys know about fiddle leaf figs, but they are notorious drama queens. They like a lot of humidity. Um, they want to be watered on a regular schedule. You a little wiggly, but that's okay. It'll it'll settle in. They want to be watered on a regular schedule. Uh, they don't want to be moved. And um, they tried to give me the responsibility of taking care of them because I'm kind of one of the office plant people. But I'm like, guys, I don't have a fiddle leaf fig in my house because I know how they are. And I don't, I don't want to deal with it. So I pawned it off on someone else who has since pawned it off on someone else. But my friend Katie is now taking care of them. And she... I love her so much. She is just such a fun person. She sings to them as she waters them every Friday. And they're, one of them is down the hall from my office. So that's a fun time. What am I putting you in? Let's see. I think I'm putting you in here. Why am I putting you in here? How much of an up pot do you need? Let's pull you out and look at you. Oh, you are sad. You are compacted. I'm trying to 
try not to break roots. It's so hard not to break roots. Just teasing. I, okay, I'm going to rip the roots off if I keep doing that. I'm going to put it in here. That's big enough. Okay, we're going to put a little soil in the bottom. Now we're going to backfill. And pull out a lot of the, the orchid bark because it's just too big. There is a rock in here. That's probably some black gold. And I, you can buy black gold at Pike's Nurseries. Um, I, my Pike's Nurseries is like the next town over. So they also sell it at Ace Hardware. So I just went, I'm getting dirt all over these succulent leaves and that is not pretty. So there's an Ace Hardware in my town. So I know that they carry it. So I just went over there and got some. I'm really gonna have to hose you down to get all this off of your leaves. I don't know if this video is going to do well or not, but you guys are motivating me to do this. So even if no one watches it, this was helpful for me. And if you really enjoy me just chatting, talking plant stuff or life stuff, I could do something like this more often. I really only feel motivated to do this kind of stuff in the summer. Um, I hung out with Stitching May yesterday. I had the day off from work because it was Good Friday and she was also free. So I went up to her house, uh, which is about 30 minutes from me, and we went out with one of her other friends and did something, and then we went and had lunch, like a late lunch. There we go. That's going to be so much happier. I expect to see a lot of growth. What do we have left? We have two left. We have the big mamma jamma, and then we have this guy, which I'm just gonna put in this pot. Uh, but we had fun, we had fun. I, She has the room that she stitches in the most, has two recliners, so we just kinda hung out. Let's see what this looks like. This shows you how small this was when I got it because see that plug in there? It was in that plug when I got it. And you can tell it's it's grown. It has more roots now. I just I want this guy to just do better. He he unfurls leaves and they get ripped and crinkly. He does not love me. So let's get him down further in this pot and see if that makes him happier. But Megan and I had fun. I worked on, I uh, pulled back out at her house, a peacock, a unicorn, and a badger. Want to get some more working on it before I switch back over to um, the Modern Folk Embroidery 2024 South. I've got to do two months worth of it when I pull it back out again. But that's okay. It's okay. I'm going to stay motivated. But I worked on it for a while with her. It was fun. It was nice. We do not get to see each other as much as we would like. Part of that is um, she switched over to a day schedule. She used to work nights. But we just have totally different schedules. So it's hard. And, you know, we both have husbands. 
she has a child. You look happier. Look at you. He may go, now that he's in this pot and happier, he may go back in my grow cabinet. We'll see if he does better in there. He started in my grow cabinet and then I've moved him out, out here to the sunroom, and he may go back in. We just have a little mess of old dirt that I'll just toss out in the backyard. Sometimes if it still looks like good dirt, I'll just, like if it just grew really fast, I'll put it back in. This dirt, there are no nutrients left. Okay, I'm going to start putting some initial dirt in here. Definitely used a decent amount of my dirt here already. Let's see. You guys ready to see how this looks? This philodendron, too. Um, you can tell I had it in this pot, inside this pot. So you were like, why aren't why are you upsizing? It was in this pot. This just makes it look pretty and it's heavy, so it keeps it from toppling over. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Why did I open that over this? It's not going to hurt it. Yeah. <laughs> See the circle of roots around the bottom? where it was getting root bound. You know what, I'm not gonna disturb those roots that much. And I'm gonna move it a little to one side since it was growing to one side anyway. Let's put this I'm, like, I'm going to make less of a mess if I put this in here with my dirt because I fill it. There we go. Jim took off and was running errands and things like that. And I think he was going over his brother's house to play cards. Uh, and not like poker or pinochle or whatever they play some card game called marvel's champions and they have i don't know how many decks plants can take this they have a lot of decks and oh my gosh you're gonna be so much happier in here look at you this has become one of my favorite plants and i ordered this online they're at Home Depot and Lowe's now. Look for the section where the plants are in the little straw baskets. And they have Florida um, greens everywhere now. Uh, not as big as this one, but like half this size. I almost bought another one. I love this one so much. But I was like, no, this one's my baby. Um, I don't want it to get its feelings hurt. It may move upstairs with my plant cabinet just because it likes that light so much. I may keep it next to it. I've also thought about um, just keeping it in my dining room, but maybe suspending a grow light from the ceiling in one of the corners. Like, grow lights don't have to be ugly. You can order like a cheap hanging plug-in pendant light and put a grow bulb in it. My lamps in my office at work have grow bulbs in them. Like, my office has no windows, and I grow plants in there. And everybody's like, those plants are going to die. And I'm like, don't you worry about me. Me and my plants are just fine. Go mind your own business. And my plants are just fine. So what I have in there are uh, different varieties of pothos, which I know are happy, like almost whatever you do to them. It's still kind of back to that side, 
But you know what? This is what this plant wants to do. I might end up giving it another stake. I can buy some longer bamboo stakes. And that's actually probably a good idea. Get some longer stakes from Amazon or Home Depot and give this guy, because he grows just fine without like a moss pole to root into. He just needs support. So I think I'll get him some new, or I could also chop him right here above this node. Like This is the node, I can chop him here and then put this in water and root this and fill him out and have another, that's not a bad idea. Make him fuller. We're not doing that today, but that actually sounds like a really good idea. Well guys, I think we just repotted all my plants. We desperately needed it. We now have more empty, these to use for other things. Now all I have to do, and I won't necessarily take you guys along for this ride, I will put these in new cover pots and water them in really well before I do that. And they're good to go. I'll put some fertilizer, my, the fertilizer that I like in the water before I water them. These will be happy little dudes my frog back in one of these. I'll go back in the plant he came out of, actually. This guy can go in here. Pretty happy. Um, you can go in here. Just reusing these. But that's it. Uh, if there's anything else that you guys are interested in seeing, let me know. Um, you motivate me to do things. I'll link stuff down below in my Amazon storefront. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm definitely not a plant specialist. I am a plant hobbyist. I will show you this though. This is what happens, see that brown on there? This is what happens when your plant gets too close to a grow light. <laughs> it likes it so much though. And look at this, this plant, it's like syrup that comes out of it. Like it's, oh, that's so sticky. It's like sap. And it just, it stays sticky, this plant does. But it's happy, so I'm not complaining. Definitely gonna get some, some bigger stakes though, because it's just gonna keep getting bigger. I'm done chattering. Bye guys. I lied. You guys can watch me water. I also like as best I can to wash off leaves because a dusty leaf doesn't take in as much. It doesn't, it doesn't get sunlight as well as it should. I'm going to get water everywhere. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to call that watered for this guy. So oh, big. I'm dripping out the bottom. I should probably go get his pot so I don't drip across the house. Hold, oh, please. So, short walk to my dining room. These pots, if you need giant ceramic pots, by the way, and you have an Ollie's near you, 
They have great prices in ceramic pots or TJ Maxx because nobody wants to spend a lot. Yeah, just get the plan all up in your business. And we're going to put you right here in the floor until I'm done. Yeah, he definitely needs bigger stakes. So, water this bear paw. Try to get some of the dirt off the leaves that I got on there, on the little paws. Happy little dude. Where do you want to live? I feel like you might enjoy this white pot. Just kind of that's pretty. Look at you. Okay, so there's that guy. We'll repot this succulent. Or water the succulent. I get all kinds of dirt in my sink. I have a garbage disposal. I don't even care. Okay, that may not be as well draining as I would like. I did take out a lot of the um, take out a lot of the orchid bark, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. You need to go maybe into this blue guy. These pots are from Walmart. They also have cheap pots. And this philodendron, who definitely needs his leaves washed. So I didn't end up adding the, um, doing it with a pitcher the way that I said, because I was feeling lazy, but I am going to put, since this one's going in my cabinet, and there's some newer plants in there. These are mosquito bits. You can sprinkle them in, which I'm about to do, which I don't usually like to do. I usually like to make a mosquito bit tea. Um, but I saw a fungus net in my greenhouse cabinet this morning from one of my new plants, I'm sure. And these basically have BTI in them, which isn't harmful to us or pets or anything. But it keeps, it kills fungus net larva. So hopefully sprinkling some of these in here will keep fungus nets from populating in my plants. Very pretty. Just two left. We have Dennis. I actually think Dennis is going to go in the pot that the other guy came out of. Oh, Dennis, you're going to be so happy. And you're going to look good in here. Your little golden leaves. Yeah, that's a good fit for you. Last one. I'm really excited about this particular repot because I have known, I mean, for like a year, this guy needs to be repotted and I was just being lazy. There we go. That's the way I want to see water come through. And then I'm going to put this one in this pot 
it has taller sides and until I get a stake in there, um, it's going to support this plant better. Except it's not falling all the way down in there. That's okay. It's okay. I'm going to squash the sink out. I went out onto the porch and got a, a planter from out there. And I noticed I had a package from one of you guys that had arrived. Um, one person was saying that there were different, like, Malamore varieties. And I'm pretty sure that's what just arrived. So I'm going to hit stop on this, do some editing, and get it uploaded, and then enjoy opening my package.